company that typically um, focuses on infrastructure type projects with underground and earthwork. A lot of different types of projects from municipal work to DOT and also private. Roughly do about four million dollars worth of work gross every year and uh, work pretty much all year weather permitting. Mm -hmm. Engineering company that was wanting concrete and asphalt built right on dirt surface and with the GPS dozers that we had, if the clay surface dried out, then we had an issue with taking a half an inch or an inch off of that um, because of the, the hard crust that was on top of that. So we talked about having a trimmer system come in and trim that off to get it to be more accurate so that the material that was being put down, whether that was asphalt or concrete, was more accurate and uh, less cost. Cut the, the dirt or the subgrade down to within about a tenth of a foot to finish elevation. And we bring in the, the skid loader trimmer, cut that down to the final grade. Um, if the project calls out for having rock underneath the asphalt or concrete, we'll bring a rock in, compact that, and then do a final grade with the trimmer. This provided um, an area that we could get the job done that we wanted without adding a lot of cost and having a big trimmer come in. And it fit our needs, I think, for what we were wanting. Helps a lot by uh, cutting down our overages on, on rock or overruns on the rock for the, that are used as a sub-base material under the concrete or asphalt. Um, we usually figure a a slight overrun on every project and the ones we've used the trimmer on that overrun has been greatly reduced. I think it certainly helped with um, knowing what our overage is, is going to be by utilizing that piece of equipment and yeah it's been able to, to trim our numbers down to be a lot more competitive. I think overage is a big concern in any project so when you're you're able to be confident in reducing the material that you're bringing in you're more confident in being at a more accurate number um, instead of having that fear of overruns. Just done what we wanted to right from the start and if we had a vision of, if I had a vision on how I wanted it to run, it's run exactly the way I wanted it to perform just like we wanted. It's a very tough piece of equipment. We've had unseen pieces of rebar that we've trimmed through that have actually wrapped itself around the drum and has not destroyed the, the equipment. Um, it's, it's performed very well under some very harsh conditions. Gone through several different types of material from plain clay to uh, fly ash treated material um, to clean rock or, a, or more of a roadstone and also frozen frozen rock. Types of jobs that typically are, they're on are, are small street projects where it's not feasible to have a large trimmer come in and, and do the, the entire road. Um, it's also been very convenient to use on um, site projects where there's large parking lots with a lot of different grades on it. We're able to utilize our GPS or the total station and go anywhere on the site to do our final cuts. Building pads are another big thing we've used it for also. We are getting more consistent with controlling our bid number to get where we need to to um, get bids. And when you're talking about how long it would take to, to pay for that, I think it for us that it is a machine that um, is more accurate and it is a process of being more consistent with getting bids than it is actually a number that's paying for itself. It depends how many hours you run it too. If you're running a thousand hours a year, it's gonna pay for itself um, just like any other piece of equipment. 
the nice part is, is we have no breakdowns. I mean, it goes to the job site and it works as much as we need it, and it does what we need it to. It's been nice to, nice piece of equipment to complement our GPS dozers also. Um, we can take the receiver heads off the dozer, put on the trimmer if we're in an application that doesn't have to have as tight a vertical tolerance. Um, where we need to be a lot closer than we use our robotic total station. The same surface that we create for the dozer goes right into the skid loader trimmer. The way the trimmer works, it, it complements the work of the dozers or other equipment on site. We can't imagine not using or having one available to use on our projects.